Hi everyone, it's Karen. Welcome to another day in our 24 days of tags for this year. Wow, it's day 21. How fabulous. And I've created something really bright and cheerful for us. We're going to use three colors of Distress Oxides. We're using the lovely Lavinia stamps with the fairy called Rue. We've got Spanish moss hanging down and coming up as well as fern leaf at the bottom. Creating this lovely moon glow around her. Let's get started. So my tag, as always, six and a half centimeters by 12 and a half centimeters. The three colors that I'm using are mowed lawn, picked raspberry and mustard seed. I'm using oxides, but distress inks would work just as well. And I'm just going to ink up my sponge and color the background. So there we have any proportions of the picked raspberry, the mustard seed and the mowed lawn together. What you do want to make sure is that you've got enough of the mustard seed in the middle to, to enable us to create this little glow around where she hangs. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my stencils. I'm using the stencil from Lavinia called Elegance and I'm just going to spritz it with some water. I'm going to tap it off so it's not completely sopping. And lay it face down on my tag. Pick up all the water that's in between the stencil. And look at that, isn't that fun? There we go. Now I'm going to give that a couple of seconds to dry. And here we've got our tag, which you either could have let dry on its own or used a heat gun to speed up the process. I'm going to use my stamping platform today because she is a good solid fairy and I just want to make sure that I get a nice crisp image. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my moon mask. I'm actually using one of the moons out of the Lavinia set of circle masks. In this set you get, can you see these? Can you see this? Let me show you. Actually, if I did it here, you could see it a bit better. So you get this large moon, this smaller one, and then you get the actual moons themselves, three of those. So it's a fabulous set. We're going to use the middle size moon for this. And I'm going to pop it down like that. Take my smoothie and using abandoned coral. It's not a color I use very often, but it works beautifully with these colors together. So I'm just going to hold that in place. Make sure I've not got too much ink on there. And I'm starting in the in the center of the moon and I'm just flicking it to the edge. Because you literally just want a lovely little glow around her. Voila. And then I'm going to take Spanish Moss. What a fabulous stamp this is. And I'm going to ink it up with my black. A 
and I'm going to start on the one edge and allow them to drape all the way down. And then I'm going to alternate the heights of this You can see each time I'm turning the stamp upwards like this, it's easier to um, see where I've inked it as opposed to tapping it down onto the stamp pad. You're more likely to, to get an accident if you do that. There we go. So you're just alternating the height so that it looks like these lovely drapey bits are falling all around her and I'll finish off with a longer one. So what we're ending up with is something that's framing the tag and her. And then I'm going to do a few of these at the bottom. And then I'm going to use my fern leaf stamp to fill in underneath her. I'm going to cover up some of that Spanish moss quite a lot and you might think well why have I got it there at all but it does add some extra depth so it looks like a place that fairies would live if we know where fairies live. <laughs> there we go. Now you can see her there. Then before I put my opal, my liquid pearls on it, I'm just going to punch the hole. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is a little bit of my pearls just randomly around the tag. So I hope you've enjoyed that today. I'd love to see what you make. Thanks for watching. Bye.